Can you use FL Studio on Linux? Let's find out. Many people have attempted to run this popular door on Linux, using Wine, a compatibility layer which lets Windows apps talk to Linux, or essentially translates them into POSIX compliant apps, which allows for Windows software to run on Linux, but Wine does not run every single program out there, and a fairly popular digital audio workstation called FL Studio does not natively support Linux distros out of the box, users who wish to use FL Studio on Linux must do one of two things, 1, you install a Windows virtual machine and run FL Studio inside of that, or, you can install FL Studio directly within Linux, using Wine, Crossover, or another compatibility layer. I have seen some videos of people using FL Studio on Linux with Wine and from what I have seen, it appears to function without any major problems, but you have to ask yourself, why on earth would you run FL Studio, inside of a compatibility layer, inside of Linux? Does that not defeat the purpose of using Linux? Yes, it does, because for one, you're now relying on Wine to run your Windows software inside of a non-Windows operating system, for two, FL Studio is proprietary software, so it does not make sense to switch to Linux if you're going to carry all your proprietary software over to it, and for 3, why on earth wouldn't you use a Linux native door instead, so many viable alternatives exist which can easily substitute for FL Studio, some of the popular alternatives include Bitwig Studio, LMMS, Reaper, Renoise, Traction, and many others, Using FL Studio in Wine is kind of like driving a Ford Model T on the highway, you can definitely accomplish this, but why would you do it, it is a pointless exercise, and Linux is not at all designed for music production, you can bang out some basic tunes with something like LMMS, but you're not going to be able to make Skrillex level music with free and open source software, that's just not how the world works unfortunately. The majority of plugins only work on Windows or Mac OS, and the majority of business standard digital audio workstations also only work on Windows or Mac OS, so trying to use Linux to make music ends up being a cumbersome and laborious process, and ultimately, a waste of time, because while it is possible to run FL Studio under Wine, you may run into latency, crackles, and other issues which should not be present which means you're gonna have to go into the software itself and change some things to get it working correctly, if your PC has heaps of memory and a very powerful CPU, then this is not likely to be a huge problem, but even if you can run FL Studio under Wine, why would you, it does not make any sense whatsoever, I can say the same for running popular Windows games on Linux, such as Grand Theft Auto 5, I bet there is a way to run that on Linux, but once again, it's like driving a Ford Model T on the highway, why on earth would you attempt to drive a car that's more than 100 years old, it's not made to drive on highways and roads built to modern standards, I mean, it's certainly possible to drive a Ford Model T at 100 km per hour, but there is literally no point in even trying, and this analogy applies to Linux and Windows software, there is no point using Windows software in Linux, there cannot be advantages to running Windows software in Linux, there can only be disadvantages, and so if you expect a popular bit of Windows only software to work on Linux, I would suggest you don't even make the switch to Linux, and just stay on Windows, because that's where the market is at. The music market, gaming market, software market, it's all for the big bad boys at Microsoft and Apple, nobody cares about Linux, Linux is like a nobody in the grand scheme of things, nobody wants to devote time, effort, and money to developing and porting software to a system which barely anyone on the planet uses, and while you can use workarounds to run popular Windows only games and software in Linux, it quite literally defeats the purpose of using Linux. And what if that software is malicious or has a back door, you're essentially reliving the Windows days on Linux, which makes no sense whatsoever, 
why on earth switch operating systems if you're only going to continue needing all that software that only works on one system, you're just asking for a bad time if you do that, so my suggestion to any Windows user thinking of moving to Linux, is that, if you rely on proprietary software, don't even bother attempting to switch to Linux, because it will just be a waste of your time and effort, you're better off learning how to use that Windows specific software, and if you want to use Linux, why not consider dual boot, or buy a different PC altogether, so that you can take Linux for a test drive before you settle in on it, and if you really need Windows software, don't bother using wine, just keep a Windows machine around, it really is the best way to have the best of both Linux and Windows, you get the freedom, customization, and privacy of Linux and you still have the best software and games in the world. Anyway, that will do it for this video folks. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.